will notice there's a lot of woods here. Now, you would think immediately, oh yeah, wood, we're doing wood. No, we're not doing wood. I want to do passengers. It's a huge gamble, and it's literally, it's literally make or break. Like, I could build this railway, which I'm going to do, a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> I'm going to build this railway, and if this goes wrong, I lose everything. I will have to finish this let's play and begin a new one. It's, it's a very high risk situation, but I am definitely prepared for the challenge. Now, West Hampton seems to be our biggest city here, followed by Fancy Gap, followed by Summerland and then Crosset, or the last two the way around. Um, but yeah, West Hampton, I want to start here. What I want to do, I want to make sure the town is somewhat covered for now. Uh, but what I need to do is find a way because I'm actually, I'm putting a rule in here. I'm not allowed to use these terminus. I have to have, if a train is going, uh, parking up and then turning straight around and going back the other way it came, I'm going to use one of these guys with a little loop on the end because that makes a lot more sense, a lot better, very simple change, uh, but it will be uh, a lot a lot better overall. I'm just thinking where is the best spot. I, I'm thinking like actually there-ish, like around here. Um, that makes a lot of sense actually because it's near the cent city centre, not too near, but it's near. I would prefer to be able to put it down like that there. That would be the ideal spot, but that's going to cost us too much money. So I think here is probably the cheapest option, but that's obviously going to cost us a lot of money as well. Like I would quite, it's a tricky one this, it's tricky because I have to redesign the roads at some point if I'm doing this, because a straight road is not going to cut it eventually, we're going to need some sort of interchange. Um, I'm th Yeah, I think this is probably as good as it's going to get about there. I think that would be good. Just there. Right, there we go. That's our first passenger station has just been made. Lovely. Uh, we're going to go with, obviously, the cheapest track here. I cannot be doing with with expensive track at this point. We don't have the money for that. I just spent a million in just the station. And we now have to think about our next place of stopping. So if I just go here to the train station, we need to think where to put this. I personally... Hang on, where's the residential in this town? Uh, it's all over the place. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that then. I would personally want to have it like here. I think this is easily the best spot for the train station because it's going straight over this little hill. But how much is that going to cost me? Let's see. Oh, it's actually flat. That's okay. I thought it was a lot more hilly than it actually was. So that's good. A little bit like that. Place that down. And now we're going to have to do some demolition. And now we can get our tracks build them out a little bit. That's really cheap 10k for that. Wow, it must be really flat around here. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is our first line set up. Our first railway line. Wow, that's looking actually super neat. I was expecting it to look really ugly, like over here in uh, in Lumpkin. We have a whole road system, which is really ugly. Well, there it is. Let's bin that, please. And thank you. And we need to get rid of that too. And... Mm, don't really want to do that, but I, uh, sure, I guess we can go without it, but it, I mean, the thing is, what I don't do now, I have to do later on, but I, sure, I guess we'll go with it, it's, there's not much we can do, I, I take any more loads out, you know, I'm, I'm going to be in a serious issue here, so I cannot be doing with that, let's try and plug this in to there, okay, that's fine, and then we need to bring this guy around here at the lowest cost, and where's our track going, so we need to line it up to there, so that, um, let's go like delete that. Another 200k down the drain. Okay, more loans, nice. Uh, it's it's not looking good. I've just spent 8.5 million, pretty much, and we spent 25k on on the loan interest so far. Now 33. However, I think if I, I've just got it in three times speed here. Let's see how our boats are doing because these guys are absolute chonkers of money makers. These guys make so much money, especially not the rigging, but especially the Wilhelm. You look at the Wilhelm's finances. Look at that. So we have a loss of 75 and a, an income of 300 for that year. There's some killer profit to be made in boats, by the way. We need more boats because two is not is not enough. It really is not enough. Uh, maybe on a smaller scale, but not enough for what we have at the minute. And you'll notice here that I haven't hooked Summerland up. Well, that's because Summerland only has a population of 140, which is barely anything compared to West Hampton that has double that uh, and a bit more. So uh, West Hampton goes to Fancy Gap, which also has a, a pretty good population. And there's no turnaround point at Fancy Gap because there's not enough room. So I just brought it down here to Crosshair, which has an okay popula uh, population. Now, I only have the rubbish train shed unlocked. So these guys can only hold 
locomotives. These guys can't hold rolling stock. So the rolling stock we need to build a siding for to store. And for to store, that means around there. Uh, but we put this shed down like about, if I just turn this around a little bit, about here. Right, and then we have our our track so we can go go 20 because it's, you know, I don't really want to pay that much for maintenance. One of those there and then just spin this into, not onto the road, onto there, like that. Yeah, lovely. And that's great. And now we need to purchase a vehicle. Now, we only have one, I believe, and I would be correct, which is the Russian Class V Type 1. Now this guy only goes uh, 45, so my tracks are 40, so that's, that's okay. Um, yeah, 45 is not the greatest, and then we have our passenger cars here, which we have a selection of, which is great. We have kind of like a, a small industrial kind of thing, um, just a standard and then a luxury by the looks of things. So we've got our industrial, which is top speed of 40, which is okay. I think they're all 40, apart from the luxury one, which is 50. But the top, literally the top speed is 40. The trains won't go any faster on this track. It's just not high enough quality. So we're not really limited by speed here. So because there's nothing underneath 40, that's great. This guy holds 30, this guy holds 56, and this guy holds 12. Wow, that's very, uh, okay, but, but I'm thinking here because this guy's 23 and if I have two of these, that'll be 24. But that'll be that'll be more expensive, almost more. Exp well, it's actually about it works out about the same for the cost there for two of these compared to one of these. Um, but let's just see the other stats here. So we have a weight. So two of those would be a lot lighter. Um, and where's our? Uh, so you 31 and you're 62. So I think I'm gonna go with the one that, that's 62. I think that makes a lot more sense. So we're gonna have to get another loan out here. Well, let's get another two loans because this is going to be expensive. Let's buy our steam locomotive with... Uh, how much are these again? So this is... Uh, wow, they, they really don't last long, those, do they? Those luxury ones. Okay. So we're going to go with the standard class passenger car, which holds 30, which is good. We'll get just... Let's just say two of these for now, okay? And then we have mediocre power. So cool, that's 800k. We're going to assign this to a new line. So we're starting off over here in West Hampton. We're going to go down to... Uh, what's this one? Fancy Gap. And then further down here to this checkpoint first. And then into Cross It. Yeah, like four. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then we're coming out of Cross It. We're going to go back up to Fancy Gap. And then we're going to go all the way back up here to Checkpoint. And then back to West Hampton. Lovely. So we're setting our train onto that route, which we've already done. Lovely. It's all or nothing, peeps. This is our train, and if this does not make us money, we are screwed. This line is getting shut down, we're in heavy debt, and we haven't paid any tax for now four years. Wow, it's going to be close. We're pulling in to, uh, which one's this again? Fancy Gap, I always forget the name. Pulling in here, it looks like there's a fair amount of passengers. 30, it looks like? Any money? No, still in a loss, but that's okay. We've got 23 passengers on board. We've just dropped some people off here in Fancy Gap. Here they come out the station, and we're going over now to the small station in Crosset. I don't believe this station is going to be very profitable. See, only 20 people and someone's just left actually. Um, oh wow, look at that. You can tell that this train is not very powerful if it's going that slow. 20, 20 kilometers an hour over this piece of terrain here. That's very, very slow. Uh, let's see here. We look to me like we're almost in profit. Only minus 2k. That's really good. We just paid another bit of the loan uh, back off. The only like sort of freight I can think of what we need to do uh, would be would be maybe uh, coffee and uh, mail, and then later on would come fish, silver, tool, no machines, and uh, and wood. Yeah, because I don't believe there's anything else that we need. Because coffee, coffee's kind of the harder one. These guys are easily going to be the first people to get mail because it's so easy for me to set up because the mail center's right here. But uh, coffee is kind of an interesting one because I have to bring coffee from here, uh, here, here. Got to bring them all the way around here through Fancy Cab, through Crosset, and then over this I've got to build a bridge, which will be hella expensive. And then I've got to go all the way through Felicity, and then I've got to bring it through Felicity through this massive hill somehow. Bring it around here, and probably drop some mail off as I'm doing that, and then go to this coffee farm here. Or alternatively, I could build a very expensive bridge over this deep water, which I don't intend to do whatsoever because that's just going to cost ridiculous money and I don't have that money to spend. Because what really interests me here 
are these farms. There's a lot of farms around this place. That's not a farm. Uh, there's a load of wood uh, forests. There's a load of coffee farms. So I definitely need to do that. Feel free to give it a subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in episode number four. Oh dear, I've just remembered we haven't paid any tax in four years.